let's talk organization. And we'll start by linking all the buttons on the homepage to the correct places. So for the learn more button, we're going to link that to our team members page so people could learn more about the team members that make up this firm. For practice areas, we'll go to practice areas. For contact, for contact us, we'll have it go to the contact page. Let's double click to enter and edit our symbol for the navbar. Home is already routed to the correct place. For about, let's do the same thing we did on the home page and have that go to team members. For practice areas, we'll have that obviously go to practice areas. Same thing with blog. We'll have blog take us to the blog posts page. And contact, we already set that up before. And as a bonus here, we can select the brand link block that our logo's in, and we can have it so when people click that logo, it takes them to the home page. Let's exit that and configure our footer. Now we can manually configure direct links to our social media presence, but in this case, we're going to take the contact us button and simply link that up to the contact page as well. Once we have all our links set up, we can start making changes to SEO. We can start configuring our page settings. So for each of our static pages, we're going to go and configure our SEO settings. And we can simply, in this case, paste in for the title. And we can go and copy and paste in for the description as well. And for each of these, we'll save. We'll save that static page content and move on to the next one. In each case, we're simply opening up SEO settings. We're making sure there's a title. By default, the title is going to be pulled from the static page title. We can, again, paste in data for the meta description. In this case, we'll go into team members and edit the SEO settings here too. Of course, we already see team members, but we can name this something custom. For instance, meet the team. That will show up as meet the team. Practice areas is the same thing. Let's go over to our practice areas and go to SEO settings. In this case, we'll leave the default title there and paste in a meta description. And finally, let's do the blog posts page. Blog posts under SEO settings already shows us our title. Our default title is there. And we can highlight that and instead type our own custom title. Sometimes it's helpful to create something catchy. In this case, it's catchy. Once we're done with this configuration, we can press save. Now, here's where it gets really interesting. For CMS collection pages, we can go into the page, we can go into the SEO settings and type in a custom title, just like we would a static page. But in these cases, we can actually pull from a field. We can pull from the actual collection. So in this case, we're pulling from the name field for the title. And for the meta description, we can pull from the post summary field. That means for each of these, we're seeing a search result preview that is pulling that dynamic data right from our collection. When we're done, just like in the static pages, we can save and move on to the next one. For practice areas template, let's do something a little bit different. We can type out a title. In this case, let's put a field at the beginning. And what we'll do here is select from the dropdown the name field. And as we move on to meta description, we can select the practice area summary from the dropdown. So as we look at our search result preview, everything looks great. Finally, let's do the last CMS collection page. This is our team members template. And we can go into SEO settings and we'll pull the field, again, the name field here. But interestingly, we can use multiple variables. So we can create another M dash and a field for job title and Astro law firm after that. And for the meta description, we can use the bio summary. SEO titles and meta descriptions that write themselves. Of course, when we're done, we can publish to our selected domain or we can link up a custom domain. That's organization.